Welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Hope everyone had a wonderful uh, Martin Luther King Jr. Day yesterday and uh, glad to be back with you bringing you another poem. The poem that I'm going to read today is by an English poet named Robert Bridges who lived from 1844 to 1930. And the poem is called London Snow. So I'll just dive right into it and offer a few comments and then read it again. So again, Robert Bridges' poem, London Snow. When men were all asleep, the snow came flying, in large white flakes falling on the city brown, stealthily and perpetually settling and loosely lying, hushing the latest traffic of the drowsy town. Deadening, muffling, stifling its murmurs failing, lazily and incessantly floating down and down, silently sifting the veiling road, roof and railing hiding difference, making unevenness even, into angles and crevices, softly drifting and sailing. All night it fell, and when full inches seven it lay in the depth of its uncompacted lightness, the clouds blew off from a high and frosty heaven, and all woke earlier for the unaccustomed brightness of the winter dawning, the strange, unheavenly glare. The eye marveled, marveled at the dazzling whiteness. The ear hearkened to the stillness of the solemn air. No sound of wheel rumbling nor of foot falling, and the busy morning cries came thin and spare. Then boys I heard, as they went to school, calling. They gathered up the crystal manna to freeze their tongues with tasting, their hands with snowballing. Or rioted in a drift, plunging up to the knees, or peering up from under the white mossed wonder. Oh, look at the trees, they cried, oh, look at the trees! With lessened load, a few carts creak and blunder, following along the white, deserted way. A country company long dispersed asunder. When now already the sun in pale display, standing by Paul's high dome, spread forth below his sparkling beams, and awoke the stir of the day. For now doors open, and war is waged with the snow, and trains of somber men past a tale of number, tread long brown paths as toward their toil they go. But even for them a while, no one cares encumber their minds diverted. The daily word is unspoken. The daily thoughts of labor and sorrow slumber at the sight of the beauty that greets them for the charm they have broken. Apparently Bridges was a friend of Gerard Manley Hopkins. And you can see Hopkins' influence, I guess, on this poem, London Snow. The late Harold Bloom calls him a lyric poet of genius, though of narrow range, (laughs) Um, which seems a little bit backhanded, but uh, certainly being a a genius is is a compliment. And I like the the note about him being uh, Hopkins' friend, because you do see some similarities. There's a, there's a similar energy, um, as well as a similar form in a lot of Hopkins poetry, like God's Grandeur, for example, and this poem. So for example, you see the second, well, if you just combine the first three lines, you see some similarities. When men were all asleep, the snow came flying in large white flakes falling on the city brown, stealthily and perpetually settling and loosely lying hushing the latest traffic of the drowsy town. So I read four lines. But you get the alliteration of the L sound. Uh, You get it combined with all kinds of different um, consonants. There's all kinds of different combinations between, say, you've got flakes or falling, flying, um, stealthily, perpetually, settling, and loosely lying. So there's all these different combinations of that one sound. So on the one hand, it seems like... um, sort of superficial, it seems kind of like it might be uh, easy to put together, so to speak. But the way that those various sounds play together is really interesting because, uh, particularly in a poem about falling snow, each of those little combinations, although they create consistency in the poem, every time you have to form one of those combinations of sounds with your your mouth, with your tongue, with your lips, it's, it's a new experience. I kind of it's it's almost like a snowflake. I mean, I mean, maybe I'm not saying that's what he was going for, but it's almost like that. How each snowflake is sort of unique, and I really enjoy that about this poem. There's some nice tonal shifts, things like that in this poem that that 
are very Hopkins esque, but also are kind of just examples of of uh, most great poems offer some kind of surprise um, somewhere along the way. But it's interesting how we get kind of a little story here. It's almost like there's a journey of the snowflake. So it begins when men are sleeping, right? When men were all asleep, the snow came flying. All night it fell, says line 10. And when full inches seven, it lay on the depth of its uncompacted lightness. Uncompacted lightness is really a nice, nice phrase. So, and then, then it says the people woke up. They woke up even a little earlier than normal because the, the light on the snow was brighter than usual. And then the boys who were on their way to school, they're outside and they're playing in the snow and they're, and they're pointing out, oh, look at the trees, look at the trees. And then, by the end of the poem, we get the men that are going to work, somber men, treading long brown paths as toward their toil they go. But even for them, a while, no cares encumber their minds diverted. The daily word is unspoken, the daily thoughts of labor and sorrow slumber at the sight of the beauty that greets them. So this is a poem about snow, but it's also a poem about beauty. And it's a poem about the way that something beautiful can transform the world, um, can change perspectives, um, can, can cause you to pause, can, can whisk you away, um, whether you're a little boy or a normally somber man. And that last, that last clause, for the charm they have broken is really interesting. The daily word is unspoken, the daily thoughts of labor and sorrow slumber at the sight of the beauty that greets them for the charm they have broken. I really like that. So once again, this is Robert Bridges' London Snow, which is a great poem about beauty, I think. When men were all asleep, the snow came flying, in large white flakes falling on the city brown, stealthily and perpetually settling and loosely lying hushing the latest traffic of the drowsy town. Deadening, muffling, stifling, its murmurs failing, lazily and incessantly floating down and down, silently sifting and veiling road, roof and railing, hiding difference, making unevenness even into angles and crevices, softly drifting and sailing. All night it fell, and when full inches seven it lay in the depth of its uncompacted lightness, the clouds blew off from a high and frosty heaven. And all woke earlier for the unaccustomed brightness of the winter dawning, the strange, unheavenly glare. The eye marveled, marveled at the dazzling whiteness. The ear hearkened to the stillness of the solemn air. No sound of wheel rumbling nor of foot falling, and the busy morning cries came thin and spare. Then boys I heard, as they went to school, calling. They gathered up the crystal manna to freeze their tongues with tasting, their hands with snowballing or rioted in a drift, plunging up to the knees, or peering up from under the white moss wonder. Oh, look at the trees, they cried. Oh, look at the trees. With lessened load, a few carts creak and blunder, following along the white deserted way, a country company long dispersed asunder. When now already the sun, in pale display, standing by Paul's high dome, spread forth below his sparkling beams, and awoke the stir of the day. For now doors open, and war is waged with the snow, and trains of somber men, past tale of number, tread long brown paths as toward their toil they go. But even for them a while, no cares encumber their minds diverted. The daily word is unspoken. The daily thoughts of labor and sorrow slumber at the sight of the beauty that greets them, for the charm they have broken. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back tomorrow with another.